Hey y'all, I'm Corey Ashton and welcome to day six of 30 days of SEO. If you've missed the previous five, be sure to check out the links below. And you can also find the free course and free download worksheet that I'm gonna be referencing in this video. So uh, don't worry, you haven't really missed a whole, whole lot. Today's video though is going to be super important. This is really one of those staple SEO tips and you've probably heard a couple of workshops on these, especially if you've done research on this topic. Today, we're gonna to be looking at specifically your page header tags. Let's go take a look. Okay, y'all, moving into our worksheet, this is the question that we are on today. Number six, are your header tags on your page unique and reflective of your page's content? So specifically, we're talking about your H1s, H2s, H3, your header one, header two, header three, and so forth. So let's jump over into WordPress and I'll show you some examples. So this is the landing page for this free course that I'm offering to y'all, the 30 tips and tasks to improve your SEO on your WordPress website. But one of the things that we're doing here, this is a great example of it. You need to have this bold font, the bigger large typography on your website typically is by default your H1 or your header one. You wanna think of your header one as the statement of what this page is about. What is this page about? This page is about a free basics of SEO course. That's what you can get here on this page. So behind the scenes of this page, I have this bit of text wrapped in a header tag, an H1 tag, and then moving further down the page, we have some more content and then I have some more larger font. This right here is in fact my H2 living here. Um, and, and so you're gonna start to see this hierarchy kind of, of content down the page and all of our H1s, H2s, H3 and so forth should have not only a larger font size but also your keywords mixed inside of them somehow. If you'd like to find out how your WordPress theme is coded, you can come to any part of your website and inspect it, right, with your inspector on your browser. So just click inspect, and we're able then to see, you're gonna see right up here, watch this, right up here, the very top of your whole screen here, you're gonna see H1 class, and then here it is, free basics of SEO course. See this open tag here, H1, and the end tag, right here, H1. And try to remember that your website really needs only one H1 per page, one H2 per page if possible. So you don't wanna repeat that tag. Uh, you're gonna see here that this one, I believe, is my H2. Let's go and inspect it right now. And again, all I'm doing is clicking uh, right mouse click on my screen. So there you go, learn the basics of SEO in an H2 tag. So my challenge for you in this task is to go through every single one of your major landing pages and be absolutely certain that any page on your WordPress website has uh, that main bold bit of text in an H1 uh, and be certain that that's the way your theme was coded and be certain that that's the way you've applied the header tags as well. This again is best practices for improving your organic rank. If you'd like me to show you really quickly how to do this inside of your dashboard, inside of a page or a post, it functions the exact same way. You're gonna go into the edit mode of your page or your post, go into your builder down here, your, your uh, WYSIWYG area, and if this is going to be our main title with keyword, we can highlight it, and then just come here to this little section and choose it to be header one. Now, if you see this issue happen, the problem is there was not a clear enough break in here. This is reading all of this as the H1. So I'm gonna click my um, undo button, right? We're gonna just back that up for a second, undo. On a Mac, that's Command Z. On a PC, that's gonna be uh, Control Z. Um, I really want this to be totally separate. So I'm gonna enter down here and let that just kind of stand alone for a minute, then apply the header one, and you'll see that start to take place. Uh, you can do that again down here. We're gonna make this now our header two. I'm gonna highlight it and choose a header two now. And you're gonna start to see the font size um, kind of lessen as it goes down the page. At least this will actually be applied by the theme that you have selected to use. 
So the other way you can do this is by jumping into your text mode here and you'll see the H1 tags living around your content or the H2 tags living around your content. So it's just an open angle bracket, H2, close angle bracket, and then at the end, when you wanna end the entire header tag, you will do that forward slash H2 inside of your angle brackets. All right, you guys, this is a really important tip that I hope you take time with. If you understand who your audience is and how they're searching for your service or your content, and if you truly understand what each page or each post in your website is about, you should be able to apply the right key term in there in each one of those H1, H2, H3 down the page so that it helps the page become keyword rich. Google will understand it better and your rank will absolutely increase. Remember, this is an organic process though. This is not something where if you go in today and set all these correctly, tomorrow you're going to start ranking instantly. It might not even happen in the next 30 days, 60 days. We're working right now in an organic way that sometimes takes time, but the results are very long lasting. So this is a best practice that needs to be in every single page, every single bit of content that you're creating going forward. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to download the worksheet if you'd like to work ahead. I have the whole course available totally for free for you in the link below. So I will see y'all tomorrow. I hope you're having a great one. Be kind, everybody. Bye-bye.